Today we're going to cover how to install corner shower shelves so that they last longer, perform better, and are easier to maintain. Now the first thing you have to think about when you're installing a shower shelf is what is the design of your bathroom? Where are the break lines of your tile? What is your layout? Now you can see here that I have 18 inch tile and I wanted plenty of shelving so I created three shelves and I certainly didn't want to limit myself on the amount of stuff that I could store. Again, check out the last video if you're interested in how to, some of the tips when it comes to fabricating your own shelves. But in any case, I had already templated, I knew exactly how big I wanted them to be and that they were going to go at every 18 inches. From another design perspective, I like the look of the shelf below the top line. It seems a bit cleaner than having the shelf be up and then you kind of see the bump. Either way, you're dealing with somewhat of a, of a rectangle there, but I like the clean line above. Again, just something to consider for yourself. When it comes to doing the actual install, last time we talked about extending the shelf into the wall to get some more support from the surrounding tiles. I did that, I felt like I increased that by actually angling the cut on this tile as well. And I have a diagram on a blog post in the link below just to give you a better idea of what that looks like. So I've, I've actually cut these two outside tiles at an angle so this has a bit more strength in my engineer head, that was a way to make the shelf stronger. Now, you know, that might make you think two different things. Number one, sure, it's going to be stronger, but what happens if it breaks? This is a one inch thick shelf. It comes from the excess of my countertop. So it's, it's really beefy. It's pretty thick. In my mind, and I'm sure in, in everyone's mind, you think, well, I'm not, I'm, I want it to be strong. I'm not going to hang on it like a monkey, so it's not going to break. Accidents do happen. It would be harder to pull it out with this particular installation method. At that point, it's going to be a bad day anyway. So anyway, so you're going to go ahead and take out the pieces as is, and when you put it back in place, now you can't have a truly triangular shelf anymore, but you could have it triangular on one side and then cut so it goes straight in to this side. Also, when you're doing the outside cuts here, you want to maintain this grout line. It's going to be the same as every other line. You just want to keep that clean look. When it comes to installing it, this is going to be slightly smaller than the space because you want to still be able to put mortar behind. So whatever, if you have cement board or curdy board or whatever it is, you still want to have that ability to cement it into place so you'll have some mortar on, the, on whatever the backing is behind as well as back buttering here to really cement the two surfaces together, again, making it stronger. When it comes to doing the install, you want to also make sure that you have a bit of an angle, angled out towards the drain because there would be nothing worse than having it go flat so that the water doesn't drain off, or even worse, if it goes the wrong direction. So you want to have the wrong direction into the wall because then you would be creating a water problem where later on you end up having to replace this part of the shower because there's just water pooling there. It's also kind of pretty yucky for squishy soap and everything else. So you want to have your level and make sure that you have that, that angle that goes out. So you'll want to make sure that that bubble is up towards, towards the inside wall. Now when it comes to grouting and putting the surrounding, grouting or caulk, I gotta say it's kind of a, a pet peeve of mine to see a crack when it comes to, when it comes to grout because it, it's kind of a known fact that this, so for instance, this shower is on an outside wall. The house
house shifts, houses just shift and move with temperature changes. So, and, and that's, even if you have a, a membrane that is a crack isolating membrane, curdy, curdy board is not known to be, they, they would not say that it's a crack isolation membrane, that's what Deidre is, however it's better than nothing, and it is going to have somewhat of an isolation factor. No matter what you put in there, it could still move though. So by putting grout in there, grout is one of those things that's very, very hard, and all it takes is a little bit of movement and it's going to crack, also leading to potential water damage because that's a place where water can go in. So from my, my engineer perspective here, when I'm overanalyzing this kind of thing, I put caulk around all of this area, knowing that it's a 45 degree angle, which is more likely to move. So by preventing, either allowing it to have a little more give here because of the properties of caulk, it's also easier to clean out. So if it, if it did crack, it's easier, much easier to pull out caulk than it is to grind out grout. Just a few things to keep in mind when you're doing your install, and I hope that this definitely gets you thinking and perhaps overanalyzing some of the different, the different steps in the process when it comes to installing your own shower shelves. Thanks for watching.